As you know from our last video, we've been chipping some of the wood we've harvested here on our farm this autumn. We ended up with a good size heap of chips and came up with lots of ideas how to use it. Here's the first idea we want to explore. Can we use the wood chips as supplement to our animals' diet and do they like them? Our horses love to nibble the bark of branches. In fact, they eat the whole small twigs of any branch we offer them and that seems to do them good. All barks contain sugars, starch, cellulose and minerals and there's a protein rich layer directly beneath the bark which means it's good food for anything that can digest it. Even humans can get some food from tree bark, but horses can get quite a lot. Plus, bark and wood add roughage to their diet. Horses need about 1-2% to of their body weight of roughage daily. That's 5-10 to 10 kilos for our horses every day. It turns out our horses love the wood chips. Mmm, twigs. They are soft and fresh, so easy enough for them to chew. Plus, our horses get fed a wide variety of energy and fibre-rich food already, so they do not gulp the wood chips down in hunger. So the risk of colic, choking, blockage or internal wounds through hard wooden splinters is not there. We tested the wood chips on our other animals too. What do you think? Worth a try? The donkeys just looked at them. And you do like willow bark. They seem to be happier eating the bark straight off the trees. But you don't like it pre-chipped. And taking whole bites out of the fence posts. The geese gave out about my offer of wood chips. But then they give out about almost everything. Bob was polite to consider a chip, but it's not his sort of thing. The sheep gave the wood chips serious consideration, but then oats are better. No chips. They just don't have the teeth, I think, to cope with big chips of wood. Also, they like to strip trees off bark. The pigs definitely prefer pig food. I guess they just don't have the teeth for managing wood and their food is very rich and full of nutrients, so they don't need supplements. I thought the rabbits would go mad for the chips, but when put in front of the camera, Snowball just froze. And our new rabbit, who still needs to be named, was more interested in wellies and other things. But it turns out they do like the wood chips too. They just don't like being filmed eating them. So the conclusion is definitely a possibility to top up on the horse food. Of course it is important to ensure there's no poisonous wood in the chips and the chips aren't mouldy or too dry. Horses are continuous grazers and browsers and standing here chomping on hard roughage for a few hours a day makes them more content as it is an inherited feral behaviour to them. So, wood chips are food. I wonder what else we can use them for.